What's going on guys? Indy here with Ultimate 2 Reviews and this company, PK, sent me actually over one of their lithium battery mini electric screwdrivers. So it's, you know, one of those kits for taking apart, you know, small electronics, watches, radios, phones, lights, laptops, cameras, monitors, glasses, you know, all the usual small stuff that you might have. You might want to need to do repairs on. But the really cool thing about this is actually, you know, it's electric and it's recharged with USB-C. So I've got to try this thing out for a couple of days now. Actually pretty interesting. Now it does have a couple downsides as well that I'll get into. Um, it comes in this case, which is actually a pretty cool looking case. The only downside I found with this case though is it's not a great portable case. Like don't throw this in a bag um, because everything is magnetic on here. So this will just slide off. This isn't actually like attached in any way. It's just a magnetic case. Um, of course, you know, this is just slides up in here, you know, it's not actually affixed to anything. So let's pop this thing open. Um, it's kind of comes in this cool little tube. So here's the actual uh, tool itself. Um, I wish there was a way to be able to see the battery life on here without plugging it in first. Um, charge time out of the box was about 30, 40 minutes. It wasn't terrible uh, via USB-C. Um, now it's actually a really nice little pen size. So you can see the whole length of the uh, screwdriver here. It doesn't have any like really thick parts to it. So it can really, you know, if you gotta get into something really tight, you can do like one of these and get it unscrewed that way. So it's kind of cool actually. Um, now the LED lights only come on when you activate. I wish it had a little bit of a, you know, um, it stayed on while it was off kind of thing. Like, you know, give me like three seconds would be kind of cool. But I mean, you know, to push it down, be able to shine the light on isn't that big of a deal. So let's check out some of these bits here. Um, comes with bits on both sides, which is actually pretty cool. So you've got a 56 plus one bit holder here, of course. Um, all the usual bits you would need. Now, I know what you're thinking. These look a lot like those Pittsburgh Pro mini bits they have too. And yet they are pretty much exactly the same. So you need more bits. They have at Harbor Freight. And I've had this bit set for quite a while from Harbor Freight. I've used it a lot. But the biggest issue I've had with it was I absolutely hate this little screwdriver. It's kind of bulky. Um, the end is kind of cheesy. It doesn't really hold the bits in how I want it to. Um, some bits it holds in tight, some bits it holds in loose. Um, so I like the bits, just like the screwdriver. And that's where the PK kind of solves that, is I like the screwdriver actually quite a bit. It only has actually one flaw that I'm not a big fan of, and that is that there's no variable speed. It's either full reverse, full forward, that's it. So if it had some variable speed, that'd be really cool. Um, like a little bit of a, you know, touch sensitive here. It's just all on, all off, you know, it's just nothing else in there for variable speed. But still a really cool little screwdriver here. So let's check this thing out and let's take out a screw. So on the other side here, we've got a massive selection, even some extendable bits here, which is pretty cool. Um, little bit holder here with an extension, which is really nice. So uh, it's actually is it magnetic in here too. Yeah, it actually is magnetic in there. That's pretty cool. So I'm gonna see if I've got a, a pH one in here. Oh, I got a pH two right here, nice. So I can use this either right in here, and of course it's magnetic, or I can put this in the extension here. Of course it's magnetic there too, and magnetic there as well, nice. All right, so let's take out one of the screws out of this Metabo HPT drill. See how much torque we've got. I should be able to take out one of these. Oh, no, it does not. But I can still do it in manual mode here, so. All right, so let's hop to something a bit smaller here. I've got this DeWalt Atomic Laser Level. It has these really tiny screws on the front of it, so let's see if I can pop those off. There we go. Takes those out quite nicely. And what I like about it is, is even though it doesn't have variable speed, it still feels quite precise here. So I'm gonna put that screw back in. Here we go, it's not gonna over tighten, it's not overly powerful, of course, so let's try another one of these little screws in here. Nice. Cool. So yeah, the trigger response is actually quite nice on here. It's not like it's gonna stand for too long. It is quite sensitive, which is nice, so working with these little screws. You know, I wish there was almost a little grip here. If you notice, it's kind of pulling out of my hand a little bit. If your hands get you know, a little sweaty, a little wet, or even a little bit of oil or grease on them. It's gonna pull right out of your hand there. There we go. Let's 
try this last screw in here. Nice. Yeah, that tri-LED light is actually really handy. So, you know, I've got a little bit of shadow going on right here. That, lumin that illuminates it really nicely. I like that a lot. So it also comes with a magnetic work table, which is pretty cool. So you're working with a lot of small screws. It's gonna hold them on there quite nicely. So that's pretty cool. Also comes with a bit demagnetizer and remagnetizer. Really handy to have one of those. Um, overall, this is actually a pretty nice little tool to have, you know, for taking apart small stuff. Um, just the bit set alone on here is phenomenal. It's really easy to read what I've got here. Everything's in a nice logical order on both sides here. It's compact enough too that you can just slide it, you know, in pretty much any tool drawer you have, even the thinnest ones. Cause I mean, look how thin this thing is, even with the screwdriver in there, it's actually a phenomenal little compact, um, little tool here to have. Um, even if you're not a huge fan of, you know, these electric screwdrivers, it can still be used in manual mode and you don't have to use electric mode either, which is pretty sweet. Um, yeah, I'm just kind of a fan of actually having all these bits here now ready to go. Um, a great order to have these bits in too. And these are kind of hard to find is going to be kind of these smaller bit extensions here. Um, really cool to have that. That's going to come in handy definitely a lot in the future. And uh, overall, it's a pretty cool little device. You know, a couple little things I'd like to see an improvement on. A little bit of grip on the handle here, variable speed. And I think this thing would be incredible for the price. So guys, I'll leave a, I'll leave a link in the description below if you want to check it out on Amazon. I think it's like 50 bucks. And uh, I'd like to thank PK for sending one of these to check out. I think they're actually pretty cool. They charge up pretty fast. Definitely got a really cool tri-LED light on the front. So. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to subscribe and take care guys. Have a great day.